The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Alongside Carson Newman Women's Basketball Coach Mike Mincy, I'm Michael Watchering, and this is the Eagles Sports Network. Carson Newman back in the NCAA tournament for a second straight season as the number four seed taking on Lander on Friday night. You're in the NCAA tournament for a second straight season. We all know what happened last season in your home gym. Uh, what's it mean to get back to the NCAA tournament? I know we've talked this year that sometimes people get caught in the mix of what the expectations were this season, but getting back to the tournament is the biggest goal, and you're back there with uh, a chance to win another region title. Yeah, I mean, obviously we came in with a lot of high expectations, and uh, uh, it's been an interesting year, different kind of year, you know, with roster change and that kind of stuff. So uh, I think for, to some degree, we kind of expected to, to be in the NCAA tournament. We were just kind of hoping that we would be good enough to be able to host it. Obviously, that's not in the cards, but anytime you can make the NCAA tournament, it's very difficult to do when you're talking about 30-something teams going for eight spots. Uh, and when you can do that back-to-back uh, -back years, which hadn't been done in a while, and you know, there's there's a few teams in our region that seem to get there every year, and that's what we're striving to do. And you know, we didn't want to be a, a one-hit wonder. You know, we wanted to be a team that got the hosted a regional last year. We're not hosting this year, but got 22 wins under our belt. Our resume was pretty strong, and uh, and now we'll go down to Anderson and, and give it our best shot. You're going to Anderson. It's a gym you're familiar with, but a gym with bad memories. You missed a ton of layups there the last time you were in that gym. What are the positives and negatives of going to a gym where you just played at about a month ago? I mean, obviously, it's uh, something even when we were there, I knew there was a possibility. Uh, obviously, if we didn't win that game when we played down there, that they were probably going to be hosting and uh, um, just getting used to the environment. You know, obviously, we didn't shoot the ball particularly well there, but we did get to the rim a lot, didn't finish. But, uh, you know, we've made shots down there before, and we won't be playing Anderson in the first game anyway. It's going to be uh, Lander. It'll be a neutral site game. Uh, you know, of course, they've played there as well, so they have the game of experience uh, playing there this year. It was back in the first semester, but uh, obviously, I think any time you can play on the floor before you get to play in the regional tournaments, obviously to your advantage. You get this Lander team, you had to beat them in the semifinals of the region last season. You faced them three times in the last year plus. Uh, what issues do they present uh, from what you've seen them grow upon from that second game of the year? Well, I mean, Kevin does a great job. They're always – they're one of those teams that seems to be always in the regional talk and they're always in the NCAA tournament. It's just something that happens every year. You know, Lander's going to be there. And that's why we have them on the schedule for the regular season because we want to play some of the best teams in our region. And uh, uh, a lot of history between us in terms of, you know, playing each other. Obviously, we played them twice last year and played them in the semis here. And it was a – a barn burner game until they and they had us beat until we you know hit some shots late and kind of went on there to win by 10 or so whatever but it was in our home gym and I felt like that if we weren't in our home gym last year they probably would have beat us by the way they were playing but uh, they're playing really well you know they had a lead against Columbus and, and gave that lead up and lost in the semis so going to be a very challenging game they're very athletic have a lot of foot speed uh, can shoot it and uh, you know they'll get after you so if we don't if we don't bring it and we don't play physically tough uh, it could be a long evening for us. I'm not sure we're going to get a better guard matchup. Malia McKenneth and Jessica Harris the conference player of the year in the Peach Belt against Bree Smith and Harris Price on your side. What's it going to take to win that matchup? Well, you know, if I believe I'm right here. I think they're like seventh in the country in scoring, and we're like number eight in the country in scoring. So we get paired up with the two highest scoring teams in our region are going to be going toe-to-toe -to -toe when we're both fresh and, and, and not wore out yet. So it uh, could be a high-scoring affair. You know, we got to just make sure that we don't let them get easy stuff to the rim. Uh, you got to take care of the basketball if you want to have a good chance of beating Lander. You got to take care of it. You can't turn it over a bunch of times. You know, when we beat them here, uh, we only turned it over 12 times back in November, and I think they only turned it over 12 times as well and it was a very high scoring game uh, in the first half and then of course uh, we ended up having to back out of the press and just play them in a half court but uh, you know if we make shots we, we have a good chance of winning if we, if we don't make shots and we turn the ball over it could be like I said it could be a long evening. You have an experienced group you won the region last season. What's it going to take for this year's group to win three straight and get back to an Elite Eight? You know, I, you, you mentioned the experience. I, I felt like we have had that experience uh, and a lot of times. You know, we had that quarterfinal game here and I uh, uh, couldn't have picked a, a worse time to play. Probably one of the worst games we've played all year. Uh, lowest point total in, in Holt Fieldhouse all year long. Just didn't shoot the ball well at all and just never got into a groove. Um, so, you know, we feel like we got a second chance, second opportunity to be able to play in a, another tournament, get to the NCAA tournament. Uh, and we deserve to be there. Obviously, we've had a great resume, played a tough schedule. But um, hopefully now the, the experience will start to pay off, that going to that NCAA tournament, the second one in a row, and, um, and getting to play a familiar opponent.
tournament uh, will hopefully give us some kind of advantage. But, uh, you know, Lander's been there too. You know, we're not playing somebody that's not used to going to the NCAA tournament. Uh, these kids have – their kids may have been there the whole time they've been at Lander, I'm not sure. Uh, so we're not playing somebody that's going to be like all eager beaver to be there and just happy to be there and try to just play. I mean, Lander's looking to get, go there and play all the way through Monday, and obviously we're doing the same thing. Coach, appreciate the time. Congrats on getting to the NCAA tournament. Thank you, Michael. He's Carson Newman coach Mike Mincy. I'm Michael Watchering, and this is the Eagle Sports Network.